All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Glean Go. It's the first Glean conference and uh, I love it uh, because I see more than 800 people attending it, some great announcements. But I have a special guest with me, uh, Sunil. Welcome to the Ravid Show. You're the CISO at uh, Glean. Uh, I'm kind of curious to learn more about what you do at Glean and also learn more about how do you feel about Glean Go? Yeah, no, definitely excited about this first user conference. You know, 800 people in attendance. Yeah. And I hear more than 3,000 people online. Online. Just too. amazing. And actually, as you said, you know, I am a chief security officer at yep. Green, the first one. And I've been at the company for now two and a half years. Nice. Before I joined the company, I was actually a customer of Glean. Oh, wow. I love the product so much that okay. that's when I literally gave Arvind the call and said, I want to switch sides. And been loving ever since, you know. Love it. Uh, that's something, you know, pretty cool to your, uh, from the enterprise world to, you know, obviously this world, which is where now you're helping more enterprises yeah. to be secure uh, when they're using agents. Uh, I'm kind of uh, wanting to learn more about, you know, uh, the big picture, uh, you know, because AI agents fr have now, you know, moved from hype to real world usage. What new kinds of risks are emerging and how should enterprises be thinking about that? Can you tell us a little more about that? Uh, absolutely. So when we think about agentic AI, you know, yep. we think about the security of the agents holistically. Yep. Not in bits and pieces. So what we do is, you know, we think about, hey, we got to have acceptable use policies so that it is conformant to your internal practices. Right. We think about you know, having a good inventory of all the agents which are available within your ecosystem mm -hmm. so that you can calculate the risk profile. Yep. Then we think about identity and authorization of agents. Exactly. And then, of course, the runtime security of agents. Mm -hmm. you know, through you know, the data security, the AI security. Last but not the least, we think about you know how do you monitor and observe. Yeah. So those are all the components that make up the, our AI security stack. Yeah. So that's how we think about it. Yeah, that's awesome and fantastic insights. So uh, I know for a fact where Glean's uh, you know been very clear from the start that security isn't afterthought, uh, right? Uh, it has to be uh, very much. Um, right now and we have to work on it. Um, so uh, what does secure AI by design actually mean in practice and how is Glean helping companies scale agents safely from day one? So I, because I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders and that is one thing that they always uh, want to know, how we secure, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So the five pillars that I just talked about, yep. you know, so those are the five pillars that we built into our agentic framework nice. right from day one. Yep. And it's just not secure by design. We believe in secure by default and secure by design. So both those things combined and talking about all the five pillars that we have built into our framework right from the get-go. Yeah. That's what makes the Glean Agentic Framework unique compared to everybody else. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, also, we are hearing more about things like prompt injection and jailbreak attacks. Uh, these sound theoretical, but um, are they really happening? How is Glean protecting against them at scale? How are enterprises and what are customers saying about it? Yeah, no, actually those problems are real, you know. Okay. You know, there were other day, there was a chat board that was being used for recruiting purpose. Someone used prompt injection to leak sensitive information. Oh, wow. Yeah, and there have been attacks against DeepSeek where prompt injection has led to cross-site scripting. So, you know, there are real world scenarios yeah. that, you know, where prompt are injection happening. is actually leaking information and causing you know the standard web application security issues. Yeah. Yeah. So and the way we have thought about it is we have built uh, you know all the defenses against prompt injection, jailbreaking, data poisoning. Yep. Right into the stack. Hmm. So what we have done is you know our customers we don't want them to be thinking about it. You know. You know. So what we say is our entire agentic framework is with batteries included. You don't have to go about buying five other security tools to protect agents built on Glean platform. Yeah. I think that is something very thoughtful and uh, obviously keeps uh, the enterprises and the enterprise leaders feel more secure with Glean. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about the use cases. Uh, can you share about any of the use cases that you've been recently, um, you know, come across or you've been obviously helping so many large enterprises out there. So anything that you can share with our customer, yeah. our, you know, our, our uh, audience and about your customer. Customers. Yes, so I would say some of the use cases, and you must have heard during our presentation that we are announcing 
30 plus agents which are built on top of our platform, yep. correct? And they span the sales, the support. Big one is engineering, which is near and dear to my heart, me being part of the R&D team. Nice. And of course, I also manage IT and security. Yep. So we have lots of use cases around those verticals. Mm -hmm. Now the great part of agents on top of the Glean platform is you know, all those agents are available to our customers for their own customization. Yep. So you don't yep. have to just use the agents we develop as is. You can use those as starting points, customize it based on your environment, and get going. So uh, I would say, you know, absolutely, your audience should try it out. Have a look at all the agents we have. That's fantastic, thanks for sharing that. And yes, I did see some of the great, great announcements and uh, those are uh, definitely very useful for the audience out there. And I know I saw some customer use cases too, so that is fantastic. Uh, one more quick question for you. Uh, can you share how Glean's new content prediction work and how they can go from you know beyond basic info type detection to companies, real visibility into their risk uh, and, and help them to get to the next level? Yeah, this is the part that I'm most excited about. I would say, you know, Glean is very uniquely positioned. Right. Uh, why? Because we have the broadest set of connectors. We have 100 yep. plus connectors. Yep. We bring security to all the data that gets crawled and indexed within Glean. Mm -hmm. So we go broad. We go deep. If your Google Drive has a billion documents, we will crawl and index those billion, uh, billion documents. Wow. And we will help you identify which of the five documents within those billion documents has sensitive information. Very important. And not just that we will do it based on regular expression or some machine learning models. We will give you very rich context hmm. around each of the finding. We at Glean, we understand content. We understand context. We right. understand who, why, and whom is it been shared with. Yeah. We are bringing all that smarts to security, which yeah. has not been done before. Yeah, okay, that's fantastic. And uh, definitely that is something very important for the customers to be aware of as well that Glean kind of take care of it and yes. uh, you all are definitely on on a call with them. So, uh, also one quick question. Uh, I saw this amazing partnership with Palo Alto. Uh, would you like to share a little bit about that, Nikesh? And uh, obviously Arvind shared the stage and shared some amazing insights. Uh, I'm kind of curious to learn more about the partnership. Yeah, no, absolutely. So the philosophy uh, we follow here at Glean is you know we are a very open platform. We yep. want to provide the flexibility to our customers. Yep. When we started Glean from day zero, we said you can deploy Glean the way you want. You yep. can use the Glean SaaS service or you can deploy within your own cloud. Exactly. When we gener launched our generative AI functionality, we say you can bring your own LLM. Yep. We give you the choice of LLMs. The same flexibility we are bringing to security. Hmm. We say by default, Glean would be secure, but if you have your favorite security partner like Palo Alto Network, then you can use their functionality for data security, for AI security. Very important. Exactly. So, and we, if a customer does decide to use Palo Alto Network, we will integrate seamlessly. Yep. Okay, so that's uh, pretty interesting uh, for the larger audience out there and for those who can really have like, um, uh, those who are using Palo Alto, there's, you know, obviously the flexibility of the vendor and uh, be there for, you know, where they are sitting. They, they don't have to move platforms yes. that they don't have to do. Uh, so that's like the flexibility that Gleam kind of provides. I'm kind of also curious to know about uh, what's next. Uh, what do you think about uh, the AI security in the future? Because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of enterprise leaders ask you about uh, governance, security, privacy, but what do you think? How I, first of all, how are you helping them right now? And then what do you see in the future? Yeah, I would say, you know, so again, going back to the five core pillars yep. that I talked about. Yep. So again, those are, you know, in security world, we all know, you're never done. Yeah. You're just constant, you keep on improving. Exactly. Right? Because the new threats keep on emerging. Yeah. The point is that you keep on innovating to make sure you're ahead of the attackers. Very helpful. So exactly, so that's, what I look forward to, you know, on the agent space, we as the industry, we just gotten started. Nice. Right? There's a long way to go. Yeah. And of course, there will be some, you know, attackers will try to, you know, exploit any other vulnerabilities. We yeah. just got to be ahead of that. You know, agents talking to other agents, that's just very new. 
exactly. you know, that will bring in some very interesting security challenges. Yeah. You've got to be ahead of the curve. Yeah, and, and I know Google and, you know, obviously Microsoft and these guys have now the partnership with, uh, you know, around the A2A. You all have like a exactly. huge partnership with Google too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. No, but absolutely. I just got, A2A is a very exciting topic. MCP, A2A, 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 you know, and how do you do authentication, authorization, spanning right. uh, different agent frameworks. Yep. Those are some very interesting challenges that we got to solve. Yeah, and I'm exactly. definitely looking forward to it. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Sunil, one last question for you is, uh, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about the different things that you all are announcing, uh, do you all post uh, that on the website? Do you, are there any blogs? But if they also want to follow you on social, which is the best platform? Yeah, so I would say all of that, of course, we uh, regularly publish on our website, including yep. our technical blogs. We also post on social media, LinkedIn yep. in particular. So please, yeah, do reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk to people about security. That's near and dear to me. This is amazing. Uh, Sunil, such a pleasure chatting with you, and we'll keep the conversation going. Have a fantastic Glean Go. Uh, we are enjoying and we are um, uh, seeing all these amazing sessions and great partnerships that you all have with uh, other vendors in this space. No. Thank you very much for uh, visiting the Ravid Show and can't wait for 2.0. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thanks, Ravid. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone, for joining us.